Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, you'll learn on how to create a vacation website rental on Wix. So first thing that we should do is we have to open any of our web browser and then we just have to visit the Wix website. So just type out wix.com using the search bar and then log into your account. And as you can see, I'm now on my Wix account. Okay, so these are all my website. Next thing that you should do is to simply click on the create a new site at the top right of your screen and click on the use Wix editor. Okay, so another tab will open. So you can bring your ideas to life with AI. Get started faster with the help of AI. So you just have to tell them about your stuff and get personalized tools, images, and text for your site. So you can click on start chat or set up without a chat. So I'm going to select set up without chat and right here, what type of website do you want to create? Okay, so you just have to search for vacation rental. Okay, so we have here different options. So I am going to select the vacation rental for this one. Okay, so after that, you just have to click on continue. Okay, so now click on continue. Then just wait for a couple of seconds. So you have so many websites that you can choose. So you just have to select the best one for your rental website. Next is what would you like to call your website? So this will be used to customize your online experience. So I'm going to type out the vacation rental. Okay, so you can skip this part or simply click on continue. Then right here, choose the apps you'd like to add to give your site more functionality with the Wix business solutions. So of course, we are going to include the Wix hotels. We also have Instagram feed and video. So for the discover more app section, we have online store, bookings, events, and blogs. So I'm going to include bookings for this one. Okay, so next is you just have to simply click on continue after adding the apps that you need for your website. Okay, now that we are all set, we have to go over to our dashboard to finish setting up our site. So just wait for a couple of seconds and you'd be directed to your dashboard. And right here, we can add our custom domain. So for this video, we are going to skip that part. Next thing that you should do is you have to head over to your left side and simply click on the hotels option. Okay, so this one over here below the catalog. Okay, so I'm not going to type it right here, my Wix website. Okay, click on hotels and then just click on the start now option. Okay, so complete setup for Wix hotels. So we can minimize revenue by connecting to leading online booking channels, get their reservations and payments for your website, manage your rates and availability with user-friendly calendars in a single platform, run your business smoothly with real-time inventory updates. So just click on start now. Okay, so next thing that you should do here is just click on the agree and add. So adding Wix hotels will allow it to manage coupons, read basic site and business info, manage transactions, manage embedded script, read payments, manage email marketing, manage members and contacts, read your email address. So by installing this app, you agree to the Wix app market terms of use. So just simply click on agree and add after reading these things. Okay, so just wait for a couple of seconds. And then right here, we can now start customizing our Wix hotels. So and what type of property do you have? So we have to type out right here our property name and then our property type. For the property type, we have apartment, bed and breakfast, guest house, hotel, hostel, inn, and more. So for this one, I think I am going to choose apartment or guest house. So guest house, I think is better. Next is you just have to click on save. Okay, so now that we're here, Get your property ready for guests with step-by-step -step guide. So we have to set up our property, of course. So first thing that we should do here is to get our first reservation. So make your site reservation ready. So we are going to complete our business information first. Add a room type and check your rates and availability. So we are going to start with our business info. Okay, so we have here the name. 
Next is which category best matches your business, so vacation rental. Here right here, we can upload our image or logo. So just simply click on the plus icon or the upload image option. Okay, so let me just upload my image right here. So you can upload your own media or use media from Wix. So I'm going to upload my own media right here. Then just click on upload from computer. Okay, so let me just, I think this one is good. So after selecting your image or logo, so you just have to click on open. Okay, now just wait for a couple of seconds while your image is uploading. Next is you have to click on the image that you have uploaded and select choose file at the bottom right of this page. Okay, that's right. Next thing that we should do here is we are going to add our short description. So if you would like to add a description, just simply type it out right here. Next is the location and contact info. So we have here our address our country and region so let me just type it right here in my address so i think philippines or manila so when you type out your address you'll be able to see different options so you just have to select your location so i'm going to type out manila philippines so i think this one next is your country and region so of course it's philippines and then your city or region and then your street name okay your house number and then the apartment, a suite, and etc. Next is the location name. And then we also have here the ZIP code or postal code. So you just have to type it out. Next is we have here our email. So for our contact info, add your business contact details so clients can reach you easily. Okay. Next is our phone number and then our tax number. After that, just click on save this one at the bottom right or at the top right. So now, after setting up our business information, let us proceed to our payment options. Okay, so this one right here. So click on accept payments. And as you can see in my current region or location, I have this payment options available that I can use. Okay, so we have PayPal and manual payments. So when you clicked on the steamer payment options, so we have more payment options right here. So if this is not your location, just simply click on this country name at the top right. And then use the search bar to search for a country. So for example, I am going to change my location to United States. And when I clicked on choose, I'd be able to see here more payment options. So the payment options will vary to your location. So we have here credit or debit cards with Wix. So just simply click on connect. Here's to make sure that we connect to the right provider, review the restricted list and answer the question below. So you just have to read these things. Then right here, you just have to answer these questions. Okay, and then just click on exact and continue. Okay, so right here with Wix payments, it's give your customers the ability to pay online and in person. So we have a credit and the bet cards, Apple Pay, Google Pay, and more. Now, if you would like to enable or disable specific payment options, you just have to simply click on the switch. Okay, so after that, just simply click on continue. This one at the bottom right. Okay, so this one. And of course, to start accepting online payments, we have to upgrade our plan to a premium one okay but that's how you can do it that's how you can add payment options here on wix now that we are done with our payment options we are going to proceed to our checked out form okay so let me just go back and then click on the checked out okay so we can customize here our checked out form so right here customize or checked out and set up how to take payments from customers so right here, we can customize our checked out, edit your checked out form, add custom fields, and invite customers to subscribe. So we also have a checked out policies and payments. So for example, you would want to edit your checked out form. So I just had to simply click on the edit option at the right side. Okay, and as you can see right here for our checked out form, we will need this customer's details. Okay, now if you would like to add your own um, field, 
then just have to simply click on the create field option and then if you would want to exclude a field so you just have to simply click on it right here on the default field okay so that's how you can customize your checked out page now if you would want to include um checked out policies so we can toggle the switch on for this one and then we are going to add here our terms and conditions you also have your privacy policy return policy digital product policy and custom policy so we just have to add our own policy right here okay so i think we're good to go so we are going to proceed to our website and start customizing our website okay so let's go back to hotels and then right here um, we also have here um, room type so we are going to add a room type so just simply click on create room type right here and then what kind of room do you want to create so we have apartment bungalow business room classic room car corner suite and then cottage so i think i'm going to click on the classic room and click on next so right here is the um display name and then the adult capacity the total capacity including children and then the number of rooms and then the revenue account so you just have to fill this field and then after that just simply click on next this one at the bottom right okay so right here we have to enter our rooms details so base price per night so 2000 pesos for example and then we're going to choose here um set best price for what occupancy and then right here we can um adjust the price calculation for one guest we also have here the price calculation for two guests okay so at the right side as you can see we can see the overview of our room details next is clicked on next and then if you have amenities in your room so you can set your amenities right here so for example we have the popular amenities so we have queen beach view mountain view garden view city view so i'm going to include beach view for this one breakfast area cable tv and then um what else so you can add here amenities and next just click on next and then the uh, next thing that you should do here is to upload the room photos so uploading um, room photos will help you to show your best features so we're going to upload our own media right here and then click on upload from computer and then select the photos that you want to upload and then click on open okay so once the images are uploaded you just have to simply click on it and then click on add to page okay so this are all the images that we need so you can add more if you want to next is click on complete the setup so we have here now the overview so once you think everything is ready so you just have to click on start selling this room and then choose the start date and then choose the end date and after finalizing the room details you just have to click on save okay so right here we have this detail so we have room details room amenities photos rate plans as well so once everything is ready just click on save this one at the bottom right or add a tap right okay so as you can see we have successfully added our room type next is we are going to check our rates and availability so just click on let's go okay so just wait for a couple of seconds so we have this calendar right here so all you have to do is to check your availability so when someone book in this um date so they'll be able to get their schedule and of course we have to upgrade to a premium plan to access this feature now let's have a quick overview on how we can design our site so just click on edit a side of the tab and then we can generate a design with ai or customize a template so i'm going to pick a template for this one or continue with setup for now so right here at the top right we have the search bar so you can use this one to search for a specific template that we can use for our rental vacation website okay so i think i'm going to use this one so once you found your template just click on edit and then you can now start customizing your website so we have your add element section add section pages and menu side design add apps my business media and cms 
Okay, so for example, this one I'm going to start customizing this template right here. So all you have to do is you just have to simply click on that specific element, then you can add your own. So let us try to preview this template, assuming that we are done customizing this one. So when someone visit this website, and then they will click on this book a room option at the top. Okay, so they'd be able to see here the available rooms or guest house that we have created. So here it is. This is the room that we have created earlier, right? So we have here the price, the name of the room. We also have here the maximum capacity, then the checked in and checked out date, and then the rooms and guest number. So when someone um, book a room, so they're going to click on this field right here and then they can also add a promo code. And then after that, you just have to simply click on continue. So just make sure that you added all of the necessary information and details for your vacation rental website. So that's it for this video. If you think this video helped you solve a concern, please subscribe, like this video, and leave your comment below. Bye.